I'm your host with the most local 23. You're joining me for all the wrong reasons, chapter 13. Justin! Troy's face is a bloody mess, and Justin is being held back by two of his friends. He shakes them off and kneels down in front of you. Are you okay? Troy hit you harder than you realized, and your bottom lip is split. You look over to see Troy holding his nose, flashing you an angry look. The hell, man? What's your problem? Mind your own business. You literally hit a woman. I'd beat the shit out of you, and I wouldn't even have to be screwing her. Justin ignores him and tilts your head back up to examine the cut on your lips. Oh, honey. Justin tenderly presses his lips to your cheek. You want to cry, not because of your fear of Troy, but because of Justin's gentleness. What the? Get your hands off my girl! Justin whirls back to Troy, fury contorting his face. Oh, Lord, does he deserve it? Oh. Do I stop him from beating Troy? Troy doesn't deserve... Okay, whoever wrote this, you're an idiot. I had to say him. Justin pulls back his fist, preparing to hit Troy again. Grab his arm and shake your head. He's not worth it. Justin growls with frustration and gives Troy a laser-like stare. Didn't your mother ever touch you not to hit girls? Honey, please. I'm so sorry I wasn't here sooner to stop him from hitting you. I wouldn't have let him touch you. You break down into tears at the relief that he's here. He gives you another gentle kiss on your forehead and holds you close. Dude, can we have a word? Yeah, one minute. He looks down at you with concern. Are you going to be alright? Yes. Jill and Yon have finally made it to your side. Their mouths hang open in shock. T Justin Adams just called you honey. What is going on, Adrian? Clearly Justin Adams has just rescued you from your lunatic ex, but that part we get, but the hugging and kissing? It does not make sense. Are you... And you were right, his eyes are blue. Crystal blue, you said. This is the moment you've lived in fear of. You've planned to tell them eventually everything at dinner before Troy interrupted, but now he's forced her hand. I could explain. Adrian, were you the girl that Justin was referring to in the interview? The one he said had gotten involved with? You nod. Fresh tears start rolling down your cheeks. Oh my god. God! I can't believe this. They're staring at you, still shocked, when Justin comes up from behind you and wraps his arms around you. Hey, Jill. Yeah? Your friends nod to him, but they have nothing but cold, murderous looks for you. Your misery escalates. Adrian, are you okay? Honey, let's get you cleaned up. <sighs> Justin... Everything is not okay. It's all been too much. Your face hurts. Your heart hurts. Your friends hate you now. You burst into tears. It's gonna be okay. They are so mad at me. You start sobbing harder. Oh, Adrian. Honey, you're going to tell us what's going on, but first, go get cleaned up. Maybe get some sleep. But Jan's face... Jan is sporting the beginning of a glorious shiner. Jill puts him, pulls him close to her. I will take care of this. You let Justin take care of you. Maybe get some sleep and we'll see you in the morning. I'm so sorry. You let Justin lead you back into the hotel, giving your friends a final guilty look. You cringe at the disappointed looks on their faces. I can't go back to my room. I'm, I'm sharing it with Kim and I can't stand up in the same room with her right now. I just can't. We're not going to your room, Adrian. I think it's time for us to have a talk. Justin brings you to his room, and you notice that this is significantly bigger than the room you shared with Kim. You wait for him to shut the door behind before you start talking, and you're having a hard time controlling the trembling. Thank you, by the way. For what? Rescuing me from Troy? I had no idea it would turn violent. I wanted to do more than just punch him out. You could get into trouble for that. What if Troy sues you? gave him the beating of his life. No, no, he didn't. I wish he would have. Oh, Lord, I would have helped him. I don't care. 
He shouldn't have touched you, and he deserved what he got. Besides, that's what family lawyers are for. We pay them a retainer for a reason. You can't tell he's trying to lighten the mood, and it's oddly familiar or comforting. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. Justin doesn't answer or move towards you. You can still see how deeply you've hurt him, and you don't think you had more tears, but they fall freely. Justin, I'm so sorry. For? Everything. For not listening to you, not giving you a chance to explain, treating you badly, and lying to my friends about us. Uh, go on. For not fighting for us, for giving you up, and for not believing in you despite you showing me that I could trust you, and I should have known better. Do you still think I cheated on you? No. Do you think I ever would cheat on you? Would you? Justin groans and crushes you in his arms. You are unbelievable. You drive me crazy. Adrian, I know you've lived your life surrounded by inconsiderate people, but people who have done nothing but crush your spirit and made you feel small. But they were wrong, and I'm not them. Adrian, you are the most beautiful woman in the world, in my eyes. And you are amazing, and I am absolutely crazy about you, so no. No, I would never cheat on you. You sag in relief that he's not so furious with you. It seems impossible, for, but Justin has just told you that he is, in fact, crazy about you. So, Troy, your relationship is history. Done? Yes. For sure, Fernando. Do I tell him how I found Troy and Kimberly in bed together? It doesn't matter. We are done, as done can be. I promise. I just wish that I had done it sooner. I had no idea. It was such a creep. I should have seen the signs. He wavers between jealousy and ignorance. What do you mean? When he and I were out with Cam, he started a fight with the waiter for looking at me. He seemed like he had gone completely unhinged. Maybe I didn't pick up on it because we were spending so little time together. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm much better now. Much, much better. I meant what I said, Adrian. I'm here for you and I will not treat you that way. To thoroughly answer your question, I am out now absolutely a free woman. So, does this mean the position of current and official boyfriend is finally open? Yes. If you don't mind, Miss Miller, I'd like to apply. Oh, god damn, you smooth bastard. <laughs> well, I'll have to see if you pass the audition first. Justin's eyes gleam with mischiefly, and he picks you up and tosses you over his shoulder. You shriek in surprise. Justin, wait, I, I didn't mean... He pulls you down and wraps your legs around his waist as he carries you to the couch, setting you on top of him. Don't worry, I know exactly what you need. It kisses you thoroughly, and you are taken on a breathless, wild ride of passion. Much later, when you catch your breath again, you lay with Justin in a cocoon of content. Even though the situation with Troy and Kim was upsetting, here, with Justin finally your official boyfriend, you feel... happy. Should I ask Justin how he got to me so fast? Yes, actually! How did you know I needed help? I, I can't believe how quickly you were there saving me. I was in the bar watching you. I, I saw him come to you, but I didn't know you were fighting until he grabbed you and... You slapped him. How could you know? It's it's okay. I mean, you got there in time. Not before he hurt you, though. I started running as soon as I saw you slap him, but I didn't get there fast enough. It kills me that he hit you before I could stop him. Shh, you're here now. That's all that matters. Justin, thank you. Thank God you were there, and by some miracle here at this resort. Er, I... No, or knew you'd be here. What? I ran into Jill this morning, and I asked her why she was in rushing. She said you guys were 
going here. Lucky for me, she was so excited she dropped the location. She told me where you were staying and who you were coming with, and I don't know. I guess I just wanted to see you with your friends and your boyfriend. I wanted to see if you were happy so I could convince myself. Convince yourself of what? That you were happy. That you didn't need me in your life anymore. So I could finally work on getting you out of my head, my system. I wasn't happy. I was miserable. And you were acting like you didn't even know me at all. Like I was nothing to you. I know I deserved it because uh, in spite of everything you said to me or did for me, I still didn't trust you. I tried to explain who she was, Adrian. Her name is Julianne. She's Gian's twin. I told you I had a cousin coming over that was her. Her nickname must have confused you, but we just call her Ian. I imagine you thought Gian's twin was an identical brother. I did. I feel so stupid. I don't want to spend the rest of the night evening with Justin. Go out and show off your new official status. Get cozied up under the covers. Talking and making amends. Well, I'm sure we'll have more than enough time for the official status. Um, so that right now, I'm not too worried about. Get cozy up under the covers. Talking and making amends. Hmm. I'm gonna go with, t you know, that that's, that's, that's the number one thing in a lot of relationships that's wrong. It's no communications, so here. I don't know how many times I can apologize because I don't think it will ever be enough. Of course it would be enough. We're here now and that's all that matters. Thank you for being so wonderful, Justin. Thank you for being in my life. Justin pulls you in his arms and you spend the rest of the evening talking and making up for lost time. You wake up happy and content until you realize that you have to face the music with Jill and Jan. They are going to hate me so much. Not really, because you told them that you were with Justin, and everybody laughed. It was all funny. Honey, are you alright? It's time to get up and face the music with Jill and Jan. You know that I'm going to be with you on this, right? I'll be right here with you. I do know. You get ready and head down to the restaurant. You find your friends already seated at the table, and you approach them wearily. Hey, guys. Jill, Jan... Your friends smile, but don't say anything. Justin gives you a look as that asks if you'll be okay. I'll be alright. Okay, I'll go find the guys. I'll be back in a while. He leaves you with a kiss and a wave to your friends. You sit down, your friends are just staring at you, but if looks could kill... <laughs> alright, first of all, I want to say I'm sorry. There is absolutely no good excuse for what I did. If you have any questions, I will answer them truthfully. Okay, one... Are you still a virgin? Like we thought you were? This is a yes or no question. <laughs> God damn, sir. Why does it matter to you? But sure. No. Thought so. Follow up. Who was it? Justin. Did you sleep with Troy? You know I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. We actually wouldn't know because all the while we thought Troy was the boyfriend. You aren't the two-timing type, Adrian, so how could we have guessed? You have nothing to say to them, and you don't want to make them any angrier, so you just shake your head and look up at your lap. You were breaking up with Tori because of Justin, weren't you? No. I was going to break up with Tori because I'm not in love with him. I haven't been for a very long time, and I don't know if I ever was. I don't know if I loved him or the idea that... I was in love with a man my mother approved of. How the hell did you hook up with Justin Adams? I work with you. We're always together when we go out. You've never even been close to him. Have you ever gone out on my balcony? <laughs> How in the world did this happen? He can't have just met you yesterday. He calls you, honey. You know what? He knows me. He hasn't even met me. And moreover, how the hell does Justin Adams know about Troy? You explain to them the torso guy from the apartment is him. 
and that you met at Gypsies, and a one-night stand turned into a months-long affair. They are both shocked. Justin Adams, the city's most wanted playboy, seems like the right guy? Do I feel like Justin was the right guy? <laughs> I'm trying to remain objective, but I think so. Guys, the real Justin item is Justin Adams is far from the playboy we all thought he was. He's sweet and caring, and he brings out the best in me. He makes me feel cared for and appreciates me for who I am, not who he wants me to be. Troy never did that, not once. Justin wanted once. Just me. I wanted to feel guilty. I, I knew I should feel wrong, but I can't. I can't feel bad about caring for someone who is so good. It sounds to me like you're sure. Yes. I think I am. This sounds like the L word. Does it feel like the L word? Yeah. I guess it really does. Why didn't you tell us? She did and you laughed at her. I swear to Christ if the author does not say that. I tried. I tried and you didn't believe me. I know I should have tried harder, but I was just... <sighs> So afraid of what you would think of me. He's the one that didn't want to go public, right? That makes sense. Justin Adams would want to keep his image of a bachelor. No, it was me. It hurt him so much. Once we... Once when you came over, we had an argument because he didn't want to hide anymore. I just got so scared of losing you guys after you told me that if you were to find out, it would ruin our friendship forever. I didn't know what to do. I mean... I didn't expect Justin to be a relationship type of guy, but we've been together for months now. Justin said something about the best state ever. The, uh, Northern Lights in Alaska? Yes. I told you I was in Boston. He took me there so we could be together without my fear of being seen with him. Oh, God, Adrian. How many lies did you tell us? We're supposed to be your best friends. I know, and I'm sorry. And when you spent that time at my place, that wasn't Troy that upset you either, was it? No, I found a woman in Justin's apartment, and he tried to explain, but I wouldn't listen. His cousin? Yes. Well, that explains the whole interview. Guys, I know I keep saying this, but I am so, so sorry. I made a wreck of this. I never meant to lie. I just didn't know what to do. So, you are definitely in love with him? Hopelessly. He has everything I want. Everything I could possibly pray for. He makes me feel loved and cherished and so damn happy. Does he love you back? He says he's crazy about me. He works so hard for us to be together. and I'm okay if he doesn't use the L word yet. Well, it sounds like you're the one for him. So now it's official, you and Justin... Yeah, and I hope you can forgive me. Your friends share a look with each other and then with you. I guess it's not entirely your fault. If we didn't gossip about him so much or laugh at you the first time, then maybe you would have told us sooner. You know, I was only joking when I said hooking up with Justin and not telling us would be a friendship ender, right? Oh, guys, let's have a group hug. Come here, group hug. You all stand and pull in for a group hug. You know everything is going to be okay. Oh, honey, if you're happy, we're happy for you. Just don't get hurt, okay? And if he does hurt you, I will kick his ass. Oh, please! <laughs> you couldn't even handle Troy. Sit down. So I'm guessing murder is off the table now? You ha hadn't heard him come up behind you and your friends turn and give him a hard stare. Well, if you hurt her... It will come back on you faster than you can blink. Oh, I will remember that. I've been wanting to meet you guys for months now. Did Adrian tell you? Oh, we were shocked, actually. We had no clue. Is she forgiven? Oh, she's going to pay for it. This will not go without punishment, but we still love her. You laugh. You are finally here with your best friends and the man you love. 
You're so happy you don't care what anyone thinks of it. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, I believe all stories should have a happy ending. However, we're not done yet. Um, there's still a ways to go. So what will happen next? I guess we'll find out in the upcoming chapters. With that being said, I hope you all did enjoy the video. Please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Head down the description below. There's a few links for social media as well as a link for Discord. You can join myself and the rest of the community there. We chat about everything. And also there's a few links to support my channel. And until next time, stay well, stay awesome. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.